there's nothing worse than getting all fired up about coaching the, an NFL flag uh, football team, and then uh, you end up spending all your time on a computer uh, midnight trying to get together your playbook and your wristband sheets. The first down playbook has worked very hard at eliminating this for a flag football coach, whether you're in NFL flag or any other league. And we'll just show you, you can go in and find thousands of flag plays, but if you want to find the NFL flag plays, you just go over here, the featured X and O's, and over here, X and O type as seen on NFL flag, and you'll find uh, almost any play that they've drawn up and also other ones that, that we've drawn up, and we're putting four new ones in today. Okay, so here's how we've made it easy for you, though. Essentially, after you go find the plays, you can then edit those plays and do with them what you want. Put your players' names on them, maybe change up a play slightly. And when you do that, anything that you edit or create is going to show up over here in my plays. And you can see we've got four plays that are a little bit edited, each one from the other, and we'll talk more about that. But once you get your plays into my play area, now it's very easy to come into the my playbooks area right here. Now, two things you're going to do in the My Playbooks area. You can come in and you can create wristband sheets. We talk about it right there in the question mark. And you can also come down and create your play card, your play grid to take on the field with you that mirrors your wristband sheets. So essentially, you're looking at your plays as your players are looking at them on the wristband sheet. Now, let's take a look at what we've done here. We've created a flag offense uh, wristband sheet right here. And for the sake of time, We'll go in and take a look at that. You can see that essentially we've created it. We've called it NFL flag wristbands. You open it up. There's your four plays. Obviously, you could add 12, 16, however many you want. And you can do all your editing over here. Now, once you get to that stage right there, what you're going to want to do is go print. And when you print that section, it takes you over here. Once again, very easy. There is a list of your plays that you're going to call, and there's your wristband sheet. Once again, you could have uh, 18, 6 up, and uh, three different sizes if you want. Very easy to come in and print that or save it as a PDF. Now, for you, the coach, what you're going to want to do is go down to the play grid section. Once again, you want to create a playbook or something that you can take on the field that where you're calling play number three. They're looking at play number three on the wristband sheet, but you're looking at it on a sheet of paper that you called and we'll open this up right here and so you can see it a little better so you can go in and you can edit that it allows you to move the plays around put the one uh, in, uh, two instead of one or something like that and then you can edit all of your assignments down here really just making you uh, a lot more effective understanding what the play is that you've called and staying on the same page with your team. Now, and finally right here, this is what your sheet would look like when you print it out. And obviously when you put in your coaching points, you would have a full sheet. You can take as many sheets to the field as you want. But let's take a look right here. You know, essentially from an X and O standpoint, try as a flag football coach not to run too many different plays. You're looking right here at two plays on the top and two plays on the bottom that are all very similar. If you call these plays, and you may call the play the same way four times, but just coach your quarterback differently on what they're going to look at. Because you can see right here that we color code everything in first down playbook to where it goes green, blue, to red. So right now your quarterback is going to read the center, over here to the slant, to the X late. And over here, they're going to read the center, all right, over here to the H, kind of a high-low, and then to the Z late. So once again, we're trying to help you in as many ways as we can, trying to help you a little bit with the X and O's, but obviously you want to coach the team the way you want to. But really what we've done for you is just make it so easy for you to create your wristband sheets and create your playbooks that you take on the field. This way you're going to enjoy coaching your NFL flag team instead of spending all your time the night before trying to create all this stuff.